Where are you going? Look, she's trying to leave. Oh my god, she's distracting me. What are you doing, coffee? Come on. I'm trying to make a video here. Come here. Sit. Good. Guys, it's Queen. I'm back and I'm better. And in today's video, I look like a boy because <laughs> I'm too lazy to put my hair down. So, you know what? We're gonna look like a confident boy today. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing things you don't know about owning a dog because I have a dog. She's right there. Coffee, say her. Her. And um, yeah, if you're planning to get a dog, then watch this video. If you're not, then watch this video because I need the views and the subscribers. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about owning a dog is you're gonna spend your entire bank account balance, okay? I'm broke right now because of her. I got a whole list right here. That's how many stuff there is. I had to write it down, okay? Her bedding, blanket, toys, water, food, bowls, food, the actual food? Oh my God, the actual food's more expensive than my life. The actual food is like $40 per pack and treats and poop bags and extra stuff and toys and collar and leashes and stuff like that, okay? That's, that's some of the stuff you spend money on. The next thing you might have to spend money on is if your dog destroys. Where are you going? Look, she's trying to leave. This dog. The second thing you might have to spend money on is new furniture because if your dog rips up your furniture or whatever, then you have to get new furniture. Unless you're okay with ripped furniture in your house, that's fine too, but I'm just saying. Checkups, simple checkups if you take the dog to the doctor. Doctor, to the vet. Uh, it's like just to, for the vet to look at the dog, not even touch the dog, look at the dog. It's like over $50, I'm not even joking to you. The maximum amount of money we've spent so far on this dog, not including bedding, not including all the stuff that I um, said before, like bedding, toys, blankets, those simple stuff, not including those things. Just taking her to the doctor and getting her fixed was $300. Can you believe that? $300. So that's most of the stuff you will be spending money on. There are other extra stuff that you're gonna have to pay for when you get the dog and whatever, but I'm not gonna talk about those things because they're not really that important. So number two is training. So depending on whether you get a puppy or an adult dog, most people get puppies. You're gonna have to train your dog like you wouldn't believe. Like luckily I was lucky because my dog got trained fast or maybe it's cause <laughs> I'm a really good trainer. I'm just kidding. But um, she, when I started teaching my dog um, to go to the washroom outside, she learned really fast and now whenever she has to go to the washroom, she just goes to the door and she barks and we take her outside and she does her doo-doo or you know, whatever she has to do and then she walks back in. So, I'm lucky. But if you're not one of those lucky people, then you need to learn how to train your dog or take your dog to training classes, but that costs money too. So if you're cheap like me, don't do that. Um, if you're not, then go ahead and you do you spend money for training, even though you can do it yourself, but you know, whatever. Number three, you're going to have to entertain your dog 24 seven and exercise them unless you want them to be a chubby bunny, then don't exercise them. But um, we have to exercise our dog a lot because our dog's breed is like the type to get chubby fast. So we don't want a fat dog. Nothing against fat dogs, I'm just saying skinnier dogs are healthier than chubbier dogs because, I don't know, that's just the facts. So you're gonna have to entertain your dog and um, exercise your dog and I know you're probably like, oh, entertain her, I just have to play with her, that's easy. Uh, no, it's not actually. Sometimes it's easy, other times it's not. Like, you get, humans get more tired than dogs. Dogs, when you get tired, Okay, for example, I'm terrible at explaining. For example, I play with her, like two seconds ago I was playing with her, right? And then I was so dead tired, I couldn't even walk, but she still wanted to play. She still kept coming up to me and giving me her toy. And she's like, oh, play, play. So you're gonna get so tired of that, but you're gonna have to do it. You got the dog, now it's your responsibility and you gotta do it, so. Number four is you have to give them showers. And for some dogs, it's easier 
and for others it's not for example for my dog it's so hard to give her a shower because she's such a scaredy cat she's scared of water but not least this is the worst one so far okay the worst one cleaning up the dog's doo-doo okay i hate doing this because it smells bad okay sometimes okay this is disgusting but sometimes when i take my dog outside and she's doing her doo-doo and it's windy outside the wind blows the stank into my face and i get a waft of it and i'm like and i like like it's really bad <laughs> that's disgusting i don't know why i'm talking about that but you're gonna have to clean up your dog's doo-doo with poop bags and it's just disgusting so so that's it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed and those are all the things you need to know for owning a dog and if you're planning to get a dog good luck uh -huh, just kidding um dogs are actually really fun and i love having a dog it's just a lot of work sit sit be good puppy be good puppy oh so good puppy what is that what is that what is that, what is that puppy coffee what is that what is that look look Say hi! Hi! Why are you making that face? Coffee, stop! Coffee! What? She mad. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the queen team because one day we'll be the best team on the internet. And like always queens, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye queens.